Good day everyone, thank you for joining Cyberspace Games in part 3 of the character setup in the Superhero Package tutorial. In this video we will be talking about setting up its attacks and its powers. And by attacks I mean the punches and the kicks, and by the powers I mean the actual superpowers. So, what we're going to go ahead and do, find your character's hands. And select both of them. And add a sphere collider to the, to the both of those. Let's go to add component, physics, and then sphere collider. Set its radius to about 0 0.06. And depending on where your characters, where the colliders have landed, you're going to want them to be on the, on the fist. So just adjust them to where you need them. Alright. And if you deselected one of them, just select them both. Set those as triggers. And just like we selected the health script with no number, we're going set to set that to punch. Just no number after it. I'll explain those more in a different video. Okay, so that is our punching setup now. Let's find the end of our character's foot, which will most likely be called toe. Select both of those and do the same thing. Go to add component physics. Here for letter. Radius of 0 0.06. And let's see where that is. Mine's actually a little into the ground, which we don't want because we don't want it to lift our character when we take a step. So I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. Or 0 0.06. For my character. Set that as a trigger. And then we're going to set these as kicks with no number after it. Alright, so our attacks are set up. Now it's time to set up the powers, and depending on which character you have, that's going to be what powers you're setting up. The fighter actually has no powers, so once you're done with this, you're all done with your fighter. The witch will have the blast attack and the force field, so let's go ahead and start off with that one. Because the um, superhero, which is what he is, has all those. Let's go ahead and start off with what you would put on the witch. Go ahead and go to your prefabs and superhero assets. Go to Powers, and Blast Attack will be one that the Witch has. Set that onto the player object, reset the transform, and bring it about chest high and arm length out to the front of it. Because what we want this to give the effect is that it's coming out of the center. Alright, and that looks good. Just like with the... Um, kicks and punches, you want to make sure that your blast has the right tag for your certain health script, so no number after it. Alright, so that's all the health script I just did. I'm going to explain all the attacks and powers later on in a different video. Alright, the witch also has a shield, which is just like a force field effect. So set that onto your player object, reset the transform, and bring it up to about center of the character. Just an explosion that blows a force out that um, pretty much just blows any game object away. That's what this explosion is. That's why this explosion doesn't matter what tag it is. It actually doesn't have a tag. So it doesn't do damage. Alright. So that would be all that the witch has. If we did that to the witch, we are done with the witch. And for our superhero, he has couple more things here. Let's go ahead and let's find our right hand. Okay, and we're going to add telekinesis right in there. Alright, and reset the transform. And with the hand, when we do the telekinesis animation, it actually rotates up. So the palm is going to be facing forward. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to Rotate this to the palms transform so that right now the palm is facing facing down. So you want your um, you want your Y to be facing the same way as the X would be facing right now, and then you want your Z to be facing downward. So let's go ahead and do X is to 90. We'll face my uh, Z downward. Here, yeah, and then Y is facing, I think, 
Okay, so I turned my X there. So used to modeling in Blender that I'm not used to the axes anymore. Okay. And what you're going to want to do with that, you don't want it to be on the end because then um, your objects that you're floating will be landing on the line. And that might actually affect certain things depending on what you have it tagged. It might affect um, your damage or anything like that. So just bring it, let's say, just bring it out in front of it and then bring it up a little bit because this can be at a little bit of a slant. It's not going to be perfect at 90 degree angle. And so I think this is pretty much set up there. And that is all you need to add powers to your character here. And since um, we have some figure here, which means he can fly. So what you're going to want to do is get your ground game object, whatever it is, the terrain or the cube here or plane, tag that as fuel. And what that does is send information to his controller script, which says he is um, entered this trigger or this collider, which is tagged four, which means he's not flying and if he exits it, he flies. And that actually allows me to give you an example here. Okay, so we know he can move and everything like that. Um, when you press E, he flies up and see now he's actually flying rather than just staying in idle because this is set as tagged and it detects when I'm when I have collided with it or not. When I collide with it, it says that I am now flying, so he goes back to idle. Okay, so that's how that works. Oh, and also with the rotation, he can now um, rotate on his Y axis. Since I have set the Y into true, and now he can only rotate on the X axis since he is not flying. Okay. So let's see here. We added some more tag content. Let me go ahead and add one more thing. Let's add one more thing into our scene here. Go to 3D object and add um, cylinder, castle, sphere, cube, whatever you want to add. I'm going to add sphere. And I'm going to scale this down a little. Okay. And you're going to want to set that tag as And then give it a rigid body. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we have the one tag for the big dude. I'm just gonna I'm gonna duplicate that. You don't need to, I'm just gonna do this. For this example. Okay, let's do it. And go ahead and press play on your scene. And we can see here they have gravity, so I added that rigid body, that's why they fall on the ground. When you click, well, when you mouse click, it's going to do the telekinesis attack here. And that just floats it in front of you. And I'm going to actually explain this telekinesis a little better when we, when we explain the other attack game powers here. And also, you can see here, if you move the scroll wheel, depending on which direction you are going, if you move it in the opposite direction, it will increase the force in that direction. So I'll explain more on that when we talk about the other powers. Okay, so let me see what else did we add on here. Flying backwards, he can fly forward. Um, he doesn't do a mad animation if you're just using the walk speed, but if you use the run speed, he actually goes like that. If you use the boost speed, he puts his arms forward, like a classic superhero. land here. Let's see what else did we have on here? We had our force field which is L. There's our force field and all that does that I'll give an example of here. I'll come closer and do it. It just blows objects with rigid bodies away. So yeah they actually move really really far up and I'm probably not gonna see them again. <laughs> but oh yeah uh, that's nice how he just starts flying automatically when you leave that when you leave that collision. Alright see what else did we have here? We had our punches, which is pretty convenient. Alright, and we have also our blast attack. We can adjust that here to keep from doing a burn over. 
this game <clears throat> this game is lagging a little bit because the video is taking a lot of process time with the speaker so it's lagging a bit let's see, so let's see what else do we add on here and explain the tools and missiles our shield and our blast attack all right so you know what i think that might be all for this video the next video i'm actually going to explain more on these here attacks and the tags like how we set on our hands i'm going to explain the tags and how it works so join us in the next video if you're interested in that